and we win all three hey i'll take that man what's up noobs i'm greer this is greener gaming log in and let's go okay so if you like sarah decks this is a deck you're probably gonna want to play because this is a hazmat sarah deck and it's mostly a control deck so we're calling it toxic sarah control try to say that three times fast so let's go through the deck really quick we have bast in here because you have a lot of low cost cards in this list so it sets the power of all cards in your hand to three it's a good boost for cards like angela after you play a card here add plus two power also works really well with hit monkey and since we're playing a lot of cards in this list hit monkey can get pretty big especially if he gets hit by bast first it also works well with luke cage give luke cage a little bonus to his power um in case you don't know ongoing your cards can't have their power reduced which works well with hazmat hazmat also works well with bast to give her a little bump but it afflicts all other cards with negative one power and when you have luke cage you obviously can't do that to your cards i mean you can do it to the enemy cards we have Zabu in here to make some of your four costs cheaper, and we're running three four costs in this deck, so this uh, gets a good bit of value. Mysterio also works well with Bast, because even though his base power goes down to three, his clones go up to three. And Mysterio works really well with Hitmonkey and Bishop. After you play a card, this gains plus one power. Also, since Bishop's only one power start, another good target for Bast. We have Absorbing Man in here to act as another Hazmat. So what you want to do in one turn, everything will be cheaper, hopefully. You play Hazmat, you play Absorbing Man. You probably want to do it on your final turn. Um, so it debuffs all of your opponent's cards. Sarah is in here to make all the cards cost one less which works well with all the stuff you want to play in one turn, like your Luke Cage, like your Hazmat, your Hitmonkey, uh, your Mysterio, all that kind of stuff. And then of course, our control cards, we have Shang-Chi to get rid of all the big nasty stuff. And we have Enchantress to get rid of all of the ongoing stuff. So that works well with cards like Devil Dinosaur, for example. So that's pretty much the deck. By the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy? I could really use it. It means the world to me. It makes me happy on the inside. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, let's chill. Um, honestly, I might just play Bast. I guess we risk, uh, Angela on Danger Room. Actually, no, let's, let's play, um, let's play Bishop. Okay, I'm just gonna play Angela and Luke Cage. Oh, dude. I can't lose Luke Cage. I'm gonna play Luke Cage over here. Play Sarah over here. Okay, let's go with Hazmat. Where do we go? Mysterio. Kuzabu and Shang-Chi. I lose one clone, but I don't think that matters. It's a good Shang-Chi uh, placement. Now 
that is a win, son. That worked out perfectly. Boom. Okay, let's chill. Um, I could just go Bast here. I don't really care if I give him a Bast. That's awkward. Uh, let's go Zabu and Sunspot. Do I, I could just Luke Cage and hit monkey, or I could just float here. I think maybe, uh, well, I think I toss out Luke Cage and then I float the rest. Kind of want to save this for the final turn. So maybe I just go Enchantress Hit Monkey just to get the stats out. Sandman, you gotta be joking me. Well, I think we just go Hazmat and Float, right? We never went over here. And he's gonna play Doctor Doom, I do believe. So maybe we play Hazmat over here. No, I'm gonna... This is so awkward. Just go like this. Ooh, by one. Get wrecked. Nice Sandman, bro. Okay, let's chill. Um, I still think maybe we just passed here. Let's go with Bishop. Maybe we go, uh, that's awkward. Angela Zabu. I might have to just risk playing Zabu over here. Cause I don't want to clog this space up and next turn I got to play Sarah there. That's rough. Well, at least we still have Sarah. That dagger is going to get huge, though. I reveal first. And I don't have Shang-Chi. And none of these are ongoing, so it doesn't matter. I just play as much stuff as I can. Go Luke Cage. What, Mysterio? Absorbing Man? I have nothing over here, though. So Luke Cage, Mysterio. Absorbing Man? I don't know about this. I imagine this is going to be a Heimdall, right?
Ooh, that Mysterio though. Hey man, I'll take that. Um, let's go fast. Go with um. I could go. Yeah, let's let's go with Zabu. Okay, I'm gonna go with Angela. I think we hit that with Enchantress before it gets out of control, right? We go with Bishop Hitmonkey. Maybe Hitmonkey over here. Okay, so we got Luke Cage off the top. So let's go Luke Cage Hazmat. What do we do? We play for over here. Maybe we go like this. Win all three? Hey, I'll take that, man. Um, I think that's a great target for a hazmat if I can get it. I think we go with Zabu here. I think we go fast Luke Cage. Ah, Storm. Way to ruin my fun. This is garbage. So I, I lose this automatically. Do I just throw away Hit Monkey to get the raft? I mean, I could just hazmat absorbing man now and then hit monkey like over here seems like a waste but let's go for it they reveal first You just like Angela and chill. And then what? I reveal first, so we go Mysterio, Thanos, Shang-Chi. Let's play everything. Hope they don't have a Shang-Chi. And they retreated. All right. <laughs> Dude, I hate this tile so much. I absolutely can't stand it. Okay, let's go Zabu.
You gotta be joking me, dude. Okay, let's go Lechugia and Spider-Man, I suppose. The last few games, I haven't been beat beaten by opponents. I've been beaten by locations, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, I'm just going to go Captain America, I guess. I think we can just Shang-Chi that, right? Or maybe, maybe we go Angela Shang-Chi. He's on reveal. If I had Luke Cage, I'd play this for sure. But I don't think that's the move. Maybe we just split the diff here? I don't know about this. but we still win? I'll take it, man. All right, let's chill. Um, guess we can play Luke Cage here. Put Bishop on cloning vats. I think we go Mysterio Hit Monkey. awkward. Did we just play Sarah? Okay, so we play Shang-Chi and what? We can go wait. Let's go Bishop, Shang-Chi, Hip Monkey. Get smoked. I'll take that, man. That's a great one. So I thought this deck was great. It felt really strong. Um, and because there are several Sarah Miracle decks out there, not everybody's expecting the hazmat play. So it can catch people off guard, especially people who are also playing decks that where they want to play a lot of cards. You just sort of... Luke Cage hazmat them and smoke them out of the water. And because now that a bunch of stuff got nerfed, 
I think uh, these Sarah decks are gonna pop up a lot more. So one that debuffs your opponent is probably gonna be one of the stronger ones. And this deck felt very strong to play. And it was a lot of fun because there's a lot of spicy plays you can make. Like you can make your Angela big, you can make your Bishop big, and then, you know, debuff your opponent's entire board. What I will note is that for a lot of the games, I wasn't losing to my opponents. I was losing to locations. The locations where you just can't play stuff on or like you can't play one cost or two cost stuff, like stuff like that. So I might take Angela out and put in like a Scarlet Witch um, for certain locations. Like for example, Space Throne. Space Throne's no good to you in this deck, right? But other than that, I would recommend playing it. But uh, don't take my word for it. You try out the deck. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and anyway, GG.